What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Savage Mike TV, and I am here, but I am not here with a reaction video. Um, I'm gonna say this at the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna say this at the end of the video. If y'all want to see more content like this, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comment section. Let me know if y'all want to see me just make a playlist so it's drop the vids on this channel and then y'all just click on the playlist so let me know if y'all want me to make a whole separate channel and post like daily or weekly or whatever about this type of content or whatever just let me know in the comment section you feel me uh it just came to my mind that i only got two videos two or three videos where i'm really talking about some real shit on this channel and i kept telling you I, I like dropping content like this so i'm definitely going to get more consistent with dropping this type of content so just let me know if y'all want this type of content I'm gonna keep it a G though. Um, whether y'all want this type of content, nah, I'm gonna drop this shit regardless. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. Y'all see the, y'all see the title of this video? It's uh, suicidal thoughts. Oh yeah. Um, I want to start talking about some more real shit on this channel. Of course, I'm still gonna have my uh funny and like my fun entertaining content as far as like the uh, reactions and shit like that. But I do want to talk about real life shit because this not the metaverse. This not uh reality tv and shit you feel what i'm saying it's the real world everybody going through problems i'm going through problems i'm pretty sure you going through problems while you clicked on the video uh shit motherfucker everybody going th everybody going through something god damn it shit so so yeah you feel me everything can't just be jokes and entertainment all the time you feel what i'm saying so uh I want the reason why one of the first videos I'm coming back to as far as talking about real shit is suicidal thoughts because one I just seen a video on my recommendation that was talking about suicidal thoughts. Two, I be having suicidal thoughts. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And three, on Christmas I just found out that uh, I had a cousin who passed away due to suicide. So you know I want I want to talk uh, about that and just you feel what I'm saying just get my viewpoint on uh, suicidal thoughts and shit like that. I want to start off by saying I don't have no um I don't have no overall advice as far as like suicidal thoughts and shit like that because nobody's life is nobody's situation is the same shit. Everybody shit is different. Everybody mindset is different. Everybody feelings is different on certain viewpoints and shit like that. But I can give y'all some advice that help me in my situation and whenever I have suicidal thoughts and shit like that. Usually when I have suicidal thoughts I just, I make sure I get in a room by myself, whether it's in my car, whether it's just in my room, in a bathroom, just anywhere. I just go somewhere by myself. I don't let nobody know shit, you feel what I'm saying? Cause one thing I realized that's bad about like having suicidal thoughts and shit is, it's like, you'll go tell somebody what you going through or whatever. It's because they don't understand what you, like they don't understand your shit 100%. So they'll fuck around and make the situation worse. Not even knowing they making the situation worse. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like instead of telling people that you having suicide thoughts, you should just go to a room by yourself and just, what I do is I meditate, but like not everybody in a meditation and shit like that. So I say, just, just go somewhere and just, just take deep breaths and just let your thoughts run in your head. You feel what I'm saying? And just ask yourself a bunch of questions. Ask yourself why you mad or sad about whatever situation you're going through. And, um, basically, all I can say is just simplify. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. That shit distracting like a motherfucker. Just try to simplify what's really going on. And, um, just think about all the shit that make you happy. Think about a bunch of shit that you want to experience in life. Think about some funny shit. Think about your favorite movie. Think about your siblings that you love, your moms, your your peoples. Just think about a bunch of a bunch of shit in your life that try to uh make you happy or whatever. You feel me? Just to give you like give you another idea of just something to live for, you know? Cause suicide, that shit, that shit not the way at all. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what I tell myself all the time. You feel me? I'm um I'm like a tough hearted person. You feel what I'm saying? So when I when I have pep talks and shit with myself, I be telling myself, like, Mike, really, like, you think about killing yourself? Like, fuck you a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I talk to myself like that because I can deal with certain shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? So like I be telling myself, like, dummy, like, it's not even worth it. Like, you going to kill yourself knowing damn well you got a bunch of goals and dreams and aspirations and shit. It's not even worth killing yourself for. You feel what I'm saying? And one thing, it's, it's a lot of people who come to me too as far as like, 
just like going through problems and shit. This is what I always tell anybody. You feel what I'm saying? If you if you watch my video and you be talking to me about this shit, you I told you this advice before. I say this about life. Life is meant to be hard. You know, if life was hard, life would be boring. And I say that all the time. Imagine a life with no challenges. You feel what I'm saying? And also by saying that, you just have to be grateful for the uh the position that you in. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like imagine a life with no challenges. Imagine every day you woke up and you went to the gym and it don't matter how heavy the weight was, you can just lift that shit like it was nothing. You can just walk outside and pick up a car like it's nothing. Imagine you can, um, shit, I don't fucking know. Imagine you can just walk in the room and fuck any bitch you want. Imagine you can just type on a computer any amount of money you want and you could just have that shit like it looked, like it was nothing like everything everything was just so easy and so grand i feel like life would be born that way you know you wouldn't that's that's some fucking that's some shit to kill yourself over not not saying like if you live in that grand life you should kill yourself but like life would just be born like this is how you know you appreciate certain shit and this is how you know you have something to live for when you get sick and your nose stopped up and you can't breathe don't you be thinking like, damn, like, I wish I could breathe again. Like when I was breathing, like life was life was cool when I could just regularly just breathe. You feel what I'm saying? Even though that's that's the small ass example, it's still something to just live for, you know? It's like that's just that's just you showing your appreciation just for fucking breathing. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like in life you just gotta appreciate certain shit. Like just the fact that you just woke up. You woke up this morning, you able to get out the bed and walk. It's a lot of people who paralyze who can't do that shit. Imagine if you was born paralyzed. You can't get up and use the bathroom until your parents wake up and they put you on the toilet to use the bathroom. You get what I'm saying? It's like you gotta be, you gotta start being more grateful for certain shit. And a lot of things I be telling my friends and shit, don't take life personal. It's always somebody out there. No, no matter how hard your situation is, it's always somebody out there that's going through something way worse than you is. And I know for a fact, like, when you having suicide thoughts, you're not trying to hear that shit. You're like, man, I'm ready to kill myself. I don't give a fuck what they going through, nigga. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. One day, I tell people this all the time. One day, nigga, all these suicidal thoughts and shit, nigga. Like, I'm even, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for the suicidal thoughts that I be having. One day, you're going to look back at all this shit and just laugh about it. You gonna be like, damn, like I remember I was in this bad ass situation and now I'm Gucci. You feel me? Like one day you're not even gonna be worried about the shit that you worry about right now. So it's not even that deep to be killing yourself over. Not saying your situation is not that deep, but you know you can overcome it. I feel like God wouldn't put nothing on this planet for you to go through that you can't overcome. You can overcome that shit, bro. I don't give a fuck how hard it sounds. You can overcome it. I'm telling you now, you can overcome that shit. But as far as um dealing with depression and just like suicide thoughts and shit like that, I feel like it starts with the people that you hang with. So if you always feeling depressed or having suicidal thoughts, and then like the friends you have, that's like they not make they not bringing no enjoyment to your life, or it's like any dumbass idea that you have, and they just automatically with it. You gotta cut them people off. Don't hang with them. Don't hang with them no more. Or if you feel like you having, uh, you feel like you having suicidal thoughts and shit like that, and you just think of this friend, and you like, damn, I can't even talk to this motherfucker because they'll fuck around, make me want to kill myself even more. Then you shouldn't be hanging with that motherfucker at all. You know, don't hang with negative individuals and shit like that. You know, yeah. And this, this something I do when I'm going through certain shit. I don't like telling everybody because I feel like and you, if you want to comment, I, I don't give a fuck about no comment, whether it's good or bad. I don't really pay attention to it. I comment back, but I don't really give a fuck about your comments. Um, when it comes to me and my life, any bad situation I'm going through, I don't like telling people shit because I feel like that's selfish of me. I feel like everybody, I don't give a fuck if you LeBron, everybody in the world is going through something. You feel what I'm saying? No matter how, how deep it is. No matter how how it affects your emotions or whatever, everybody's going through something. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not that selfish to basically put my baggage onto you. You feel what I'm saying? You already going through baggage. I 
could be somebody that you really care about, you love. It hurts you that your friends is hurting. So if I tell you I'm hurting, that's fucking your day up even more. I'm not that type of motherfucker. But there's a lot of people out here like this. Like for example, you know, I was dealing, I was dealing with this person, and this, and mind you, I'm not saying this person is wrong or whatever for this because they didn't even know I was going through this. I was having suicidal thoughts. And I was just talking to this motherfucker who did nothing but complain. Don't be down. I don't. I don't talk to this person no more. Get the. Fuck, I had to get that negative shit out of my fucking life. They don't do nothing but complain, complain, complain about the smallest shit. It's no deep situation. You just complaining about little shit. And then while I was going through my shit, it's like, you know what? I'm the type of person where I like to put my shit, my feelings and shit. On the side, to the side, basically, to try to help you out. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? This person going through something. Even though it's not deep to me at all, it's probably deep to you. So let me go ahead and push my feelings to the side and just help you out. So it's like I'm giving I'm giving her a pep talk while giving myself a pep talk. I'm like, you know what? Man, this shit that we're going through right now, one day in the future, we not even going to be dealing with that shit. Like one day we're going to be having fun. Life going to be so grand and we just going to laugh about situations like this. This motherfucker going to say, you talking about the future, we don't even know we going to be alive tomorrow. Like I said, she not wrong because she didn't know I was going through my shit. But I'm like, God damn, you damn right. I'm having suicidal thoughts. What the fuck? Is I'm fucking dreaming? Terrible. Terrible fucking... That's a terrible statement to say to a motherfucker who having suicidal thoughts. What the fuck? I'm trying to help this bitch out. She talking about, I don't know if I'm going to be alive tomorrow. We, we don't even know if we're going to be alive tomorrow. What the fuck? I kill myself right fucking now, bitch. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, God damn. You feel me? But not, but not saying she was wrong because she didn't know. You know, that's just, that's just how she went. Oh shit, I thought that was something important. That's just how she went about uh, certain shit in her life, you know? But I feel like that's a terrible mindset to have, you know? Because if that's the case, it's like, what the fuck are you alive for right now? It's like, what's your purpose in life? If you if you name anything in your life, like you could be like, shit, I'm living this life because I want to have kids or I want to have a family or I'm living this life just to, I don't, just for something, something fun or something. I can always hit you with the, you don't even know if you're going to be alive in the next 10 minutes. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like that shit, that statement is bullshit. You can't say that statement for anything. You feel what I'm saying? Whether anything good or bad. Like, like you be like, if you say something bad, man, I hate, I hate this life, blah, 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 blah. You can vent me. I hate my life. I hate my job, blah, blah. I can be like, don't even worry about it. Don't even trip. You don't even know you're going to be alive tomorrow, so don't even trip about what's going on today. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't say that. Or anything good and shit. Yeah, bro, you know, I just, I finally made it, bro. I just did it. I'm ready to buy my mom's house tomorrow. T tomorrow? You don't even know you're going to be alive tomorrow. You feel me? I, that's why I feel like that's a terrible ass, that's a terrible ass statement to say, you know? So, I feel like if you're dealing with motherfuckers who got that type of mindset, definitely snip, snip, cut them off. And I feel like in life, this, like I say, life is so full of challenges to the smallest detail that we don't even realize. Life is not perfect. So as far as focusing on yourself and being selfish, I feel like ain't shit wrong with that. It ain't shit wrong with that. It's especially, or like as long as it's like, it got something to do with being positive. Like if you, if you got a positive mindset, where it's like, you know what, you're gonna focus on yourself and be selfish, knowing it's gonna, like, it's better, you better in yourself right now, focus on yourself, knowing for a fact that in the future, it's gonna eventually better other people's lives. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you gotta be selfish in this world. <laughs> like, for example, and this, this, this is a cool example. Say you got a thousand dollars, that's all you have to your name is a thousand dollars. But your homeboy, your homegirl call you up. Yeah, bro, you know I'm I'm I ain't got the rent money. Blah blah blah. Is you gonna get that person your last thousand? You can't. If you pay this motherfucker rent, how you gonna pay your rent? You have to be selfish, you know? And I know this video, is just, I'm just going on and on about a bunch of different random shit and shit. It's supposed to be about suicidal thoughts, but I'ma I'ma end it off with a whole conclusion at the end of this video. 
you can't pay this motherfucker rent because you're not even gonna be able to pay your own. So that's why I feel like it's good to be selfish in certain certain situations where it's like it's helping you. It's like, all right, you can get that motherfucker some advice because money not always gonna help. You feel what I'm saying? But another example of that shit is literally I'm just piggybacking off of what I just said. Um, as far as me and my shit, like whenever I'm going through tough situations, I'm not gonna tell you the tough situation, like especially when I know for a fact I can get through it, like I know for a fact I'm not gonna kill myself, I know for a fact this situation is not gonna kill me by tomorrow. I'm not gonna tell you my tough situation because I don't want you feeling no type of way. I don't want you feeling like, damn, life is ass. It's, it's ass for me, it's ass for my peoples, and even my friends is going through it. You feel what I'm saying? I don't wanna put all that baggage onto one person. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I don't tell niggas the type of situations I'm going through and shit like that. Cause I know for a fact I can get through it. But as far as you, I don't know how how uh, strong you is mentally. I don't know if you can get through certain situations. So I'm not gonna put my baggage on you. Cause me put, you could be going through hell right now and not telling me. But then when I tell you something, that could be the last straw to make you want to kill yourself. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I feel like sometimes it's good to be selfish. Just hold yourself, hold your shit in. You know what I'm saying? Try to face your own demons alone, basically. You don't know who day you could be fucking up by telling them that you're going through some shit. And another reason why I say focus on yourself is because nine times out of 10, a lot of people I don't even want to say that because honestly, I don't know. But you, you get what I'm saying. Nine times out of 10, a lot of people commit suicide because they focus on everybody else's situation. It's like, damn, I'm in a tough position right now and these people is living it up. It's like, why do I have to go through this situation alone? This shit is not fair, blah, 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 God, why this, that, and dirt? Then you end up killing yourself or some shit. I say focus on yourself because it's easier for you to cherish and appreciate the small shit in life. Like it's easier for you to be more appreciative and shit like that. And it's gonna help you realize that you can't take life personal. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you're looking at everybody else's situation, you're gonna start taking life personal and shit like that. You can't do that. You just gotta look and pay attention to your own situation, focus on yourself, and just appreciate what you got going on around you. That's gonna really make you not wanna like well, I can't really speak for y'all, but that's that's what make me not want to commit suicide. It's like when I'm when I don't when I cut everybody else out and I just focus on my own situation, I appreciate the small shit that I got in my life. Like I appreciate the fact that I'm not blind. I appreciate the fact that I'm not paralyzed. I appreciate the fact that it's like I don't know, just like small shit. Like I, I like I have a car right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like like it make you appreciate like just certain shit in your life. That you wouldn't normally appreciate. That's why I say just go in a, a room by yourself. You don't have to talk to nobody about this shit. Just keep it in your own mind. I'm ready to try to finish this vid because I got to get out of here soon. But another thing that I really wanted to touch on. Because I, I know I ain't touch on everything. Because you know I ain't perfect. I'm kind of mad that I ain't really say a lot of shit I wanted to say. But like I said I ain't perfect so shit. Um... Yeah, basically to conclude the video, just when you having suicidal thoughts and shit, try to get in a room alone and just fight, battle your demons alone, basically. You feel what I'm saying? And just have that mindset that you can get through it. You can overcome anything in this life and just know you got God by your side. You feel what I'm saying? And always remember that it may not seem like anybody in this world care about your love you, but it's always at least one person in this world. Whether if you want to have kids or not, whether you, you got future kids, just think about your future kids. You know your future kids is going to love you. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to fight for, you got to fight through it for them, you know? Um, now I got to hurry up. Um, don't hang around negative individuals. You want to surround yourself with positive individuals. Not only when you're having suicide thoughts, but that's just that's just common sense when in life, honestly. You're not going to get nowhere when you're hanging with a bunch of people who have negative mindsets and who down all the time. You know, you're going to prosper, you're only going to prosper and you're going to reach certain goals in your life and you're going to reach this, this, uh, this lifelong positive mindset when you're just hanging around positive people and shit like that. You don't want to hang around nobody negative anyway. And, um, I, this just something random, you feel what I'm saying? Um, another thing real quick. 
as cliche as it may sound, you feel what I'm saying? I mean this from the bottom of my heart, you feel what I'm saying? If you feel like so deep down inside that nobody gives a fuck about you, bro, I just want, even though I don't know you, you feel what I'm saying? We speaking through the camera and shit, bro, I care about you. Shorty, I care about you. You feel what I'm saying? I love you. You feel what I'm saying? Even though it feel like nobody may love you, I want to tell you that I love you. You feel what I'm saying? And you just got to fight through it. Because you can get through it. I believe you can get through it because I have suicide thoughts and I, I'm still here to make this video. I got through it. You feel what I'm saying? Not saying I'm not going to have suicide thoughts ever again because obviously I am. Like, life not perfect. What the fuck? You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to get through it and you can get through it as well. I love you. Um, stay positive. And yeah, you gonna get through it. Um, another thing I want to touch on, just as far as like my channel and shit like that. I ain't gonna lie. In January, I got this motherfucking video. This another video that been stressing me the fuck out. It's this top ten songs of the year video. I don't know if it's gonna be top ten or top fifteen songs, basically. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of fucking songs this year that I loved. It's it's so fucking hard. It's so hard. When after, when my last video, when I said, yeah, we got this song coming, I'm thinking, I mean we got this video coming, I'm thinking this shit gonna be easy. I'ma name 10 bangers. We gonna go ahead and record a video. Nigga. When I say of the year, I'm talking about January 1st, 2021. To December 31st or 30, whatever the fuck December stop at, uh, 2021 or going on January 1st, 2022. Any songs that drop, nigga, that shit. That shit is hard as fuck. You gotta think about so many. You got what, what I did for this shit to think about the songs I came up with. I still ain't even come up with a song. I just I got a list that got like 50 songs on that bitch. And I gotta I gotta simplify that shit all the way down to fucking 10, 15. It's like nigga, that shit hard as fuck. I just thought about my favorite artists and at least two songs that I liked about, I mean, two songs that I liked from that artist. I got a fucking stuttering problem. That's why I keep skipping the vid and shit. Um, but yeah, for me though, like I said, like, I'm so passionate about music and shit. I get, I like, I like hella artists. I like hella motherfuckers that fucking make music. You know what I'm so you gotta think about your favorite artists that drop and at least think of fucking two songs from them. For me, nigga, I like, I like Moneybag Yo, Kodak Black, I love Raw Wave, Young Boy, Drake, Lil Baby, Lil Dirt, fucking Polo G, Lil TJ, Roddy Rich. Uh, I don't, I don't, I, nigga, look, that's ten artists right there. I don't, I don't have one song that I like for them ten artists. It's multiple favorite songs I have that they dropped this year from them ten artists, and I gotta think about. One song from the motherfucker, like damn, cuz. So what I'm gonna do is, we most likely gonna do a top 10, 15, and then I'm just gonna name like three to five bonus songs that could have made the list. That was just, it was hard for me to decide on, cause I ain't gonna lie. This list is so fucking hard. I ain't even going. Yeah, obviously I ain't gonna name no songs right now. What the fuck? Yeah. So just know, sometime in January, I. Hopefully it's around the beginning of January, but yeah, sometime in January that shit gonna drop. It's definitely gonna be before the NLE reaction though, for sure. So shit, stay tuned to that. And like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know down in the comment section if y'all wanna see more content like this. Let me know, seriously, if y'all want me to really create a whole channel, cause I've been talking to some friends. Some friends was telling me I should just create a whole channel and drop videos based off of Real life situation. Cause like I said in my other videos, I talk about this shit every day. Like this is not new to me. You feel what I'm saying? I talk about this shit all the time, like every fucking day. Cause this is a real life that we live in. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not reality TV. It's not the metaverse. So I talk about this shit every day on a day to day basis. So if y'all want to see content like that on a day to day basis or like weekly or multiple times a week, let me know if I should create another channel. If y'all don't really, if y'all don't really give a fuck for this content. If, if, it's like, if y'all really do want to see it and I should just make a playlist on this channel, that's what I'll do. Because I got a playlist. I just add, I just keep adding to the playlist and keep dropping the same funny and cool content I got on this channel. But if y'all want to see, if y'all really need this, like y'all feel like y'all in a bad situation or y'all just feel like it can help other people, y'all want me to create a whole nother channel on some soul luminosity and spiritual soul shit, I do that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And I... When I said that, I, that was just an example. I'm not talking about, I'm going to hop on a channel and talk about the straight spiritual shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to talk about a little bit of everything in this life. Because it's still people in this world who are going through tough situations that's not spiritual at all. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel what I'm saying? In this world, I feel like it's a problem with people being judgmental. And 
I'm not that type of person. I'm not a judgmental person at all. So, well, I'm not no more. That's what I will say. I ain't gonna lie. In the past, in the past, when I hopped on my spiritual journey at first, nigga, I was judging every fucking body. Nigga, anybody who didn't think of me, you a fucking bot, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I used to call everybody a bot and shit. But now, now I use, I use that saying more so for the funny aspect of it. I don't be dead ass when I be calling nigga a bot and shit like that. So, so yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's the end of this video. You feel what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to make, I'm never going to drop a video about a specific topic and talk about that shit one time, you feel what I'm saying? So as far as the suicidal thoughts, I'm gonna have multiple videos about this, you feel what I'm saying? I fucking have some with me and Dario. I have some, I throw my man's trend, y'all don't know who trend is, but I throw him on this channel, we talk about this shit, or just, just anybody, you feel what I'm saying? I, I wanna talk about certain important topics multiple times, you feel what I'm saying? That's what I will do. So this not the only video y'all gonna get on suicidal thoughts. This definitely not the only video y'all getting from me talking about real shit. So with that being said, I love y'all niggas. Stay blessed, stay positive, and I'm out. Subscribe to Savage Mike TV. My nigga. <laughs> Right back to the shit that guy nigga here. I ain't never gonna quit, nigga. This my year. Thought I was gonna flop. Not this year. I got shit that a lot of real niggas need to hear. I done learned so much over this past year. I done been through so much. I don't even care. Used to eat cold cuts. Now five star meals. Used to steal from my mother. Now I'm with the bills. And I'm still in the field. Still get a nigga killed if she ain't my bitch. I don't care how she feel. I'm getting rich. You ain't never gonna.